Welcome to another great Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at making 3D animal effects. So first thing we've got to do is get a picture of a cheetah and I'll put the link up to the picture on my blog and the link in the description. Now first thing you want to do is, let's get rid of that background layer and we're going to copy the uh, copy the current layer that we've got uh, and then create a, a layer mask and the next thing you want to do is create a new layer and come up to your selection tool and pick the rectangular marquee tool and you're going to just draw a box around the edge of the, the animal and sort of about halfway into the into the body area go about there. And make sure you leave a little space as well sort of between where the the edge of the body is and I've left some space there between the uh, the tail. So now you want to come on to the uh, paintbrush tool and just get a, a nice big size and make sure your hardness is at 100 and you're just going to paint the, the area that you've got there nice and easy. Now you come back up to the marquee tool again and just deselect that last uh, box and then just click to where the close to the edge to, to where the box is and just draw another box inside just like that and then you can hit the delete button and that will give you the view again of the the body of the animal and then you can just deselect that and then what you're going to do is use the perspective tool so we'll come up here, edit, transform and perspective and you're just going to shrink on this edge here just enough to give the illusion of the, the picture. So there we go, that looks that looks fine there just now. So I'm going to just apply that and then come over to the eraser tool and just zoom in to the, the area where the frame still covers the, the body and I'm just going to remove the remove where the frame attaches to the body. And there we go, we can see that's starting to uh, it's starting to take shape now. So now the next thing you want to do is you can leave it like this. This is actually a good effect uh, you know, with the with the box. But if you're going to take out the background here, I would recommend using you can use the selection tool or the 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 magnetic lasso tool. But I would recommend using the uh, the quick mask select. Uh, and that way you can quite accurately get the uh, get get the selection done of the the outer side of the object. You could use the pen tool as well, uh, but I'm just going to use a mixture of the the line tool and just come up here where the the edge is and and just draw, draw the the line tool sort of down here to the edge. side of the of the box that's quite tricky there we go and you can use the, the shift key to get a, a straight line as well and then I can go around with the the, uh, the let's see I'm going to use the, the pencil tool for for some accuracy in here just going to draw around and highlight where the, the animal is. 
is. And I'll just see you just in a moment. I'll finish that off. So, welcome back. And I've finished just going over the outline of the, the box and the, the cheetah. So, it just takes you a few minutes. Uh, and now what you want to do is just remove your, your bottom layer or hide your bottom layer and then you can uh, merge let's merge both those layers, merge visible and then if you take the quick mask tool off that will select everything around the, the edges and then you can just hit the, the delete and that gives you the the picture there. Now just about finished the last thing we've got to do is just right click and go to blending options on our layer and we're going to have a look at the drop shadow. Now in the, the drop shadow you've got a, a few options uh, let's see, hold on is it the inner shadow? Yeah, it's not the drop shadow at all. It's the it's the inner shadow. That's the one. So I'm going to come on to the inner shadow and let's have a look. Oh, no, we need to apply the drop shadow. There we go. So we apply the drop shadow and then come into the the inner shadow. Let's see if that's right. Doesn't look very. It doesn't look very good. Yeah. As soon as we do that, we get more of a, a shadow there. So, yeah. Let's have a look at the. Let's take that off and see. Yes, yeah, the drop shadow that we want. Here we go, down the bottom. Ah, oh, there it is there. This wasn't coming up before. Right, yeah, down to the drop shadow and your options are the, the distance and... Let me just move this over here so we can see a bit more. You can move this here and see where your, your shadow changes a little bit. So I'm just going to put it out about there. And then the size as well. You can... The closer to zero you have, the sharper it is. So we want a little blur, so about five or six and then we're just going to change the, the opacity as well you can have a look at that and see how light or dark that you want that to, to be and then if you click OK that should be you and you can save it from there so there we go hope you enjoyed that and give it a try